Hello everyone, I'm Irene. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be sharing six items that you should not forget to pack. So some of these might be a little obvious, but others I think are not. So um, the one that I think is probably the most helpful for me, I'm going to leave to the very end, so stay tuned for that. So I think uh, the one that I want to start with is tape. So the reason why I'm saying tape is because I have a few different products that have sifters in them and if I use tape to cover up all of those holes then when I get to where I am trying to go there's not a huge mess waiting for me so uh, that's why I wanted to make sure to mention that next is sanitizer wipes and so the reason why I like sanitizer wipes is uh, for a couple of different reasons. So if you take these onto the plane with you, they don't count towards your uh, liquids. So you don't have to worry about that. And once you get on your plane, then you can wipe down the armrests, the table that folds down in front of you. And then when you get to wherever you're going, um, whether that be well, wherever you're gonna be staying, whether that be an Airbnb or a hotel room. These come in really handy so that you can wipe down knobs, remote controls, um, levers on the toilet, anything that's easily missed by housekeepers. So I really like those. And then another thing that I really like to um, make sure to bring our different size plastic bags and so if you are staying somewhere that has free breakfast or breakfast included in the room then uh, if there's like muffins or fruit or other things that you want to take with you for a snack later in the day then you have little Ziploc bags to put that in. Also I do have some things that I travel with uh, like face oils and things that sometimes leak so I like to make sure that those are packaged in uh, little Ziploc bags and so sometimes uh, if those get really messy on your way over because of the altitude change on the flight sometimes those tend to leak a little bit more in the air then um, you can switch out the bag coming back so that it doesn't make a mess all over all of your other things that you've packed so that comes in really handy also if you have like a grocery bag you can uh, pack your dirty clothes in there so they're not um, mixed in with your clean clothes especially if you're going to be gone for a while or if you don't have um, a washer and dryer wherever you're staying or if uh, you have something wet like swimsuits and those don't get completely aired out by the time you need to come back home or if you're in between places you're switching from one apartment or hotel to another then you can put those wet items in the grocery bags so that comes in really handy. Also, if you have um, wet shoes or dirty shoes that you want to wrap those in. So there's a lot of different uses that you can use those different size plastic bags. So I like to pack those. And then the other item that I really like to pack are these cozy socks. Uh, for me, my feet get really cold and um, when I'm going through security at the airport, I like to wear slip-on shoes. If it's in the summertime, then I tend to be wearing flip-flops. That makes getting through security very easy, but then once I'm on the plane, if my feet are cold, then I can just pull these out and warm them up while we're flying. So that comes in really handy too, and they're also really nice to sleep in. So anyway, I like those. 
And then another item I like to take is gum. So I usually choose like a fruity flavor, sugar-free gum. The reason why it's good to take gum, especially if you're flying, is because when you're preparing for landing and the altitude is changing, sometimes your ears hurt because of that. And so if you're chewing gum during that time, it uh, helps to equalize the pressure that builds up in between your ears, which will um, eliminate that discomfort. Also, if you have children that are old enough to chew gum safely, you might want to um, give them some gum so that they don't have any discomfort when that's happening. Also, if you have a child that um, has a developmental delay, even if they're not very small, uh, but they might have some difficulty verbalizing what's happening and then they just get cranky and moody and they're in a lot of pain. So anyway, in order to help them be more comfortable also, it's good to um, give them some gum so that that doesn't happen. And then if you have a, a really little one that can't chew gum, then um, you might just want to feed them during that time. I think there's something with like the chewing or the sucking motion that helps equalize the pressure somehow. So anyway, that works for us and hopefully that will be helpful for you. And so then lastly, what I find really helpful and actually is a new discovery for me are these rescue pastilles. Um, natural stress relief. If you go into a local natural food store, then they'll probably have these. Actually, the natural path that I was seeing introduced me to these because I have a lot of anxiety getting in front of a group to give a presentation, social anxiety, and then I know a lot of people uh, get a little anxious when they're flying. So the way these tend to work, and sorry just to back up for a minute they're in a cute little tin and they're really inconspicuous they kind of just look like a mint tin i think that also helps with just being able to pull these out and use them but i really like that you just press down the center you hear that pop and then it loosens the lid and then you can just take out one of these um they're kind of like a they're not completely solid but they're not completely gummy either. And this one happens to be black currant flavor, but I just put one of these under my tongue and let it dissolve. And uh, when I'm feeling really anxious, it really helps um, to slow down my heart, help me relax. Uh, it's very soothing. I don't really know how it works. The natural path was saying that it's really just flower essence. But anyway, you just, to close it, just squeeze the sides. You hear that pop and then it seals it and it's nice and snug. It doesn't, oops, doesn't come out. So you can just drop those right in your carry-on bag and take those with you. There are a couple of different brands. Uh, like I said, I am newly introduced to this, so I haven't tried other things yet, uh, but there was like a pill version, a spray version, and a couple of different flavors of these. But anyway, those were all of my tips. I hope that you found some of those helpful for you. Please like and subscribe. And also if you have other suggestions, things that uh, people maybe might not normally think about, but you think they should definitely consider packing for their trip, please put those in the comments below to help us all. And I hope that I will see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.